another one bites the crust. Jenny is outside doing some training with her mom, and although she's not paying attention to her targets, she hits them on point. Surprisingly, Dr. Waitman gave her a round of applause for improving her targeting skills, and Jenny bows with a smile. Jenny's school alarm goes off informing that she's going to be late, so she suddenly flies off, flies back home, cleans up the mess, flies off again to Tremerton High. Once Jenny arrived at the school, she noticed a flyer saying that the school prom is coming up again this year, and she is intending to go. A girl screams in the background saying that the new boy in school is coming, and everyone rushes to the door, trampling on Jenny to see who it is. The door opens as the newcomer walks in, shimmering in a gold jacket and silver pants, and all the girls faint to the floor. He then notices Jenny on the floor and helps her up, and Brad comes in to tag along. In auto repair, Brad and the new guy patch, drill, hammer, and screw Jenny back to her normal self. Jenny thanked the boys and their help and reward them by fanning them. The gang is now back into the hallway thinking of some ideas for the school dance coming up, and minutes later, the Crust Cousins came in with the latest style, bringing the entire student body in awe. Overhearing what Brad and Jenny were saying about attending the prom, Tiff scolds the two by saying with Jenny, she might turn the party into a robotic rampage. The new kid says, easy for you to say when you had robots to make your life great. Tiff gets mad at that remark, but Britt calms her down. She then asks what his name is. The new kid says his name is Lenny. Got a problem with that? He added. Britt tells Tiff to show him some respect because of all the attention he's getting. Lenny disregards the popularity he's getting from the other popular kids in school and plans to hang out with everyone else, including Jenny and Brad. After school, the three teens and Brad's little brother Tuck hang out in Jenny's bedroom at the Wakeman household. Lenny begins to get to know the gang a little better and begins feeling comfortable. Never met a cool robot like you, Jenny, Lenny said. I've never met a new guy who is so popular but just wants to hang out with us unpopulars, Jenny added. Lenny chuckled and told him that being popular is much more than just having a good look. Brad tells him that at Tremonton High, it's just a dark, cold, and lonely world for him. Tuck had some experience with the cousin before, as he was the small portion of help of the fashion war that Jenny had with him. So, Tuck stated, from what I understand, it's that just because you're a robot and not a human, it makes others feel like androids to just do what they're instructed and never live a life of a human. It's like it doesn't have a soul. Lenny added, I know how that feels, but I didn't care when I was in my old high school. The others gasped in shock. You didn't care? Jenny asked. Lenny then replied, yes. On a Saturday afternoon at Jean-Philippe's dress store, everyone, even the Crust Cousins, are getting ready for the school prom. Everyone got their tuxedos and dresses ready for the event, but the Crust Cousins are still on the hunt for the wardrobe that would bring Jenny down to scrap metal. Out of nowhere, the Pip Crystals return to the shop, covering everything in its sight. The Crust Cousins smile evilly and ask Jean to return their crystal style. Lenny and Jenny enter the store to find what to wear for the prom, so Lenny asked the desk clerk if the two could come up with some ideas. The desk clerk nodded and Lenny began designing. Jenny, on the other hand, decided to look around until she looks through a window and sees the crust cousins back in their pip crystal gowns. Horrified, she runs to Lenny and tells him that they need to get out of there before it's too late. Lenny paid the desk clerk $65, saying that he'll be back soon for more ideas, and the two rushed out the door. Tiff suddenly hears the front door close as to think that someone has been watching them. Brent uses her x-ray vision to see who closed it, and outside was Jenny and Lenny running from the store. With the crystallites closed all suited up, they began their chase, and as the two were hiding, they tried to think of a plan before the two cousins find them. Suddenly, Night came a little quickly, and before they start running again, Brick catches them and takes them uptown Tremerton. Soon, Tiff catches up with her and then begins to surround the two with multiple clones. Jenny, feeling dizzy once again, the clones randomly punch 
kick and throw her until she's completely bruised. Lenny was mortified as to what's been happening to her, but he sees that Jenny is getting back on her feet and tries her best to take the crystals off them again. She then realizes to use her keen sense of fashion to beat them. Jenny tried to find one article that involves crystals, but no luck. Every magazine in Tremerton is completely overrun by crystallized fashion. Jenny fought hard to try to take the crystals off them, but the Crust Cousins kept fighting on to get rid of her for good. One more blow from Tiff commenced Jenny to near deactivation, and its eerie Lenny rushes up to her in hopes to get her to reboot. The two cousins fly off as they claim their victory, but a furious Lenny begins to transform into his robot mode. Jenny, still weak, opens her eyes and sees a gold robot flying off to get the two fearsome fashionistas. She tries to stop him, but it was too late. Tiff suddenly hears a zooming sound, turns around, and gets knocked out. Tiff falls from the sky and lands on top of the dress store of Sean Philippe. A worried Brit rushes up to her in hopes that she's alright and begins to fight off the new robot. Tiff gets up, joins the fight, and the heat gets hot! As the two cousins use their power to eliminate the golden robot, he just kept on pushing through. The two tired cousins nearly passed out as they sat down, and the gold robot said to them, Not much fun being on the other end of the stick, doesn't it? The tired Brit told them to get out of town with Jenny, thinking that he's a freak too. Tiff makes one final blow to the robot, but then the robot pushes Tiff's power back at them. As the two were laying down, nearly bruised and almost out of breath, Tiff asks who the robot is. The robot transforms back into an angry Lenny, the new kid on the block, and the crust cousins and Jenny were all in shock. Lenny pushes Brit out of the way and grabs a scared Tiff by her throat. With Lenny's fist in the air about to knock Tiff out, Tiff closed her eyes as she began to shed tears as well as a scared Brit. Seeing the tears in the eyes of Tiff, Lenny lowers his fist and says in her face, Never come back. With that being said, a teary Brit rushes up to Tiff feeling as if they've seen the error of their ways. Lenny walks away, taking a bruised XJ-9 back to Dr. Wakeman. Tiff uses her powers to stop him, and Lenny again gets angry. He rushes up to Tiff with his fist held high, but a teary and scared Brit steps in in the nick of time to hug him and apologize for everything. Lenny pushes her off, asking if this is another joke. But Tiff asked while crying, does this look like we're joking? Lenny pondered for a second and sees the light in their eyes. Tiff hugs Lenny and apologizes as well. And as apologies were accepted, the three take Jenny to Dr. Wakeman. 